What's up everyone, Benjamin here, Kusta, and welcome back to another video. So today guys, we are going to be checking an Apple Pencil alternative. It's the Godjudok GD13. Actually, I was about to buy the Apple Pencil Gen 2 until I came across this brand on the internet. And honestly guys, it looks interesting. It has 5 star ratings, uh, which is nice and got me more interested about it. Okay, so let's unbox this one and see what it can do and if this is a perfect or good Apple Pencil alternative. So let's check. Uh, wait a minute, I didn't mention that I only bought this for 1,300 pesos or around $65. Yeah, that's the price. So let's check it out. But before we jump into this video, if this is your first time on this channel, welcome and thank you for stopping by. Please like and subscribe and don't worry, it's for free. And if you're already subscribed, welcome back. Right, so as you can see in front of the box, you will notice the branding. It's Gojo Doc, and you can see here the model number is GD13 pencil with color white. And on the side, it's the stylus pen, super fine, nib active, capacitive, cool. And at the bottom, there's a brand name again, Gojo Doc. So let's try to open this one. Let me just get my handy dandy cutter. Okay, so when you open the box, there's the manual. Wow, it really looks like the Apple Pencil 2. All right, so let's just put this on the side because uh, I'm just gonna read that later. And also you can see here that there's a, what do you call this, a pencil sleeve or a pencil holder or something. Wow, which is nice and it's leather. There. We also have a, a free nib. They included the nib, guys. Okay, there you go. Go to the Goju Dog. And here is the pencil itself, guys. Wow, look at that. It really looks like the Apple Pencil. Actually, guys, I don't... This is my first time having a pencil since I just bought my iPad Air 5. And I'll put the link in the description down below. I did an unboxing for that. Um, I was, I was really gonna buy the Apple Pencil too until I came across this one. So, yeah. It really looks like the Apple Pencil. Amazing. Okay, so for the pencil itself, there's a branding here. The Goju Dog branding. And... Oh, there you go. Oh, there you have it guys. And there's the nib. Alright, let's return that. And also the switch is here. Oh, okay. There. Let me check. Oh, there you go. Yeah, this is so cool. It really feels like the Apple Pencil, guys. And the build quality is really not that cheap. Alright, so let's test the sleeve. Oh, it fits perfect. Nice. So there you go. The Apple Pencil Alternative Gojo Dog GD13. Alright, so now um, I have my iPad Air 5 here and we are gonna pair this Gojo Dock GD13 pencil to this iPad and... Oh wait, hold on guys. I just wanted to try this one. Oh, there's a strong magnet as well guys. Look, it has a, it has a strong magnet as well. Oh, there you go. See? There. So the only way that you are gonna charge this is since there's no charging ports or whatever like the other uh, alternative pencils out there which is this is one that I'm very interested at because like the other alternative pencils out there you could really tell that there's a like a switch or something here or a charging port here in this part so yeah um uh, I really don't like those kind of designs uh, it's just for me okay that's why I'm really very interested of this because uh, when I saw this it really looks like the apple pencil with a very minimalistic look nothing here on the sides or the in the whole pencil All right and it oh i'm so amazed right now the magnet is so strong All right so now uh, let's try to pair this pencil to my ipad air 5 so so since it's already on and then go to where uh bluetooth and oh there you have it so as you can see guys there is the gd13 pencil and then it says pair there you have it. It's already connected. I just wanted to check something else, okay? Oh, here. Apple Pencil. Let's try if this will work here. Go to Pencil. And then there. There's an option here to only draw with a pencil or you could use pencil for everything and the scribble and every stuff. Since this is already connected to my iPad Air, let's try to do some writing or something, okay? So let's go to the Good Notes app. So let's try. Type here. Wow. Test. Oh, there you go. Okay, let's use this little paper and create. Okay, let me zoom in, guys. All right, so let's try to use the pen. So this is a testing. Wow, 
so bear with me with my handwriting guys okay oh my gosh that is so cool look at that let's try to erase that so there's like no breaking or something on the oh there like there see that one but let's see let's see how it goes again let's try a different size there you go yeah there you go oh and by the way guys i'm using a paper light tempered glass yeah i just wanted to let you know guys okay so let's try this one <laughs> this is so cool it's so smooth so cool guys actually you know what the, the writing experience is so smooth uh, it feels like i'm just so amazed with this pencil right now like for its price tag guys and what you're getting out of it i'm, I'm really happy of this one wow. Okay, so now let's talk about some of the cool features of this Gojo Doc GD13 pencil. <laughs> I got it right. Okay, so first of all, there is a tap to wake in this one. So you just need to double tap on the screen and it will go directly to the uh, notes app. So I'm just gonna hold it like that. And as you can see, it's locked, right? So I'm gonna double tap the screen. There you go. So it will go directly go to the notes app, right? Which is so cool. This pencil also has a feature that is called the palm rejection feature. For example, it's I'm gonna lay this flat and then I'm gonna put my palm, there you go. And I'm gonna write please subscribe <laughs> there you have it so it's yeah it's really nice it has that palm rejection feature which is so cool so every time you write on something it will not uh, distract you which is so nice okay also guys I just wanted to talk about its um, battery life okay so so for the battery life and charging this Gojo Doc GD13 pencil will take up to around one and a half hours to have the full charge of battery after the full charge it will take 15 to 20 hours of working time which is a lot and since you're just gonna put this on top of the iPad so that will not be a problem that 15 to 20 hours and also if like it's gonna be on a standby mode it would last for like 365 days okay as per goju dog yeah which is so cool right then i just wanted to talk about the battery life so this one here serves as an on and off switch and the battery life indicator as well so as you can see there it's color green so if the battery life will be zero to thirty percent this will be gonna be color red and then if it will be thirty to seventy percent this color will be blue and then if the battery will be seventy to hundred percent or full charge like this so it will be green okay which is so cool and yeah um, speaking of cool guys there's one cool feature that this Gojo Doc GD13 has is that when you're not gonna be using this for five minutes this pencil will be on a standby mode okay so this will just like sleep it will just turn off and then you just need to like press this press once or twice I think and you're good to go and you don't have to pair this again so once it's already paired so you can just like do whatever you, you want it to do like if you'll go to sleep just press this and then do your thing right away okay let's see if, if this is really charging and there there you go guys look at that it's charging it's 97 percent oh, let me try to get that let's try to run a bit and then there oh <laughs> that's so cool i am so really guys i'm so happy right now that i bought this one instead of the apple pencil so, well hopefully it will last but for its price tag you know everything's good everything is perfect for this one for now okay it's perfect So for my final thoughts guys, definitely this is a good buy for me for its price tag. Get what you are paying for. Really looks and feels like the Apple Pencil I'm telling you right now. Except for the button here on and off switch. So that's the only difference from the Apple Pencil. But aside from it, it's just if you're gonna do like that, you really cannot tell if Apple Pencil or not unless you can read this the branding here. And honestly, it doesn't feel cheap like it's it has an awesome battery life as well and you can even like just put it on top of the iPad which I've shown you earlier and have you charged like the Apple Pencil so overall guys this is approved and I'm very satisfied so for you guys out there who are in a tight budget for a pencil for your iPad I highly recommend this GD13 from Gojo Doc. I'll put the link on the description down below if you are interested to buy this one and you can just check that out okay so that is it for now guys thank you so much for watching and I hope this video was able to help you and looking for again a pencil for your iPads out there okay so thank you guys for watching and see you in the next one peace